and tell me, I, I've heard a number of your interviews, you know, and there's been a lot of distinguishing between Hamas and the Palestinian civilians. How responsible or blameless do you hold the Palestinian people living in Gaza? So the Palestinian people living in Gaza are only responsible for electing Hamas at a time that Israel was saying that Hamas was going to be an amazing partner in the Middle East. Hamas originally, when it was first running uh, to be elected and going against the PLO uh, and, and saying we were going to be better, was promising a very bright, progressive future. Um, like I said, officially, Israel's position was that Hamas was going to be a true partner for the Palestinians. So that's what they elected. But unfortunately, that's not what it was. And since then, there hasn't been a new election. Since then, Hamas has been indoctrinating a younger generation and teaching them that every reason why they suffer is because of Jews, is because Israel exists. And so you kind of have to feel bad for the context of the situation and realize the reason why someone is raised with so much shape is because their pain is contextualized by finding to them that the source of their pain is Israel. And if they truly believe that, they would want to lash back out or to fight Israel so much because they truly believe we're the source of the problem. We're, we know we're not, so it's easier for us to understand that because we have a, a greater view, but they don't. Mm -hmm. And Hamas has been completely terrorizing the Palestinian people. Anyone who criticizes Hamas, you would probably find them dragged on the streets the next day with their body. Um, you know, obviously they create these wars every few years in order for casualties to increase on both sides and casualties to increase on the Palestinian side in order to sell uh, the victimization of Palestinians to the world in order for them to get more foreign aid. And all that foreign aid either goes to their pockets, which is why they're all billionaires, the people on the top, or goes to reinvest in this business scheme that they have into buying more weapons and starting this again. So Palest this is not a war between Israelis and Palestinians. This is not a war between Jews and Muslims or Jews and Arabs. This is a war between Hamas and Israel, and so you, you can link so, Iran and, and mm -hmm. Hezbollah into that as well. Right. And so you don't you don't see the typical Palestinian living in Gaza as being a Hamas lover or supporter, even though they are cheering. They have been cheering with these attacks, many of them. I, I don't know the numbers, obviously. So I'm not saying that there aren't Palestinians who support Hamas. Of course, when you're indoctrinated to to hate, right, right. Uh, you're going to come to the conclusion. As someone who understands that, or as people that understand that as our collective, that have the ability to have access to free information and to be open-minded, we have to understand how they got to that issue. That's the symptom, right, the source right. of the mystification. But that being said, there are many people who don't like Hamas living in Gaza. They take a lot of people's in Gaza, and they take a lot of these polls in Judea and Samaria about, you know, the position of Palestinians towards Israel, the position of Palestinians towards the Palestinian Authority and Hamas. And it's usually polls that will say, oh, look, most Palestinians are against Israel, because you definitely won't find anyone saying that they're for Israel. You definitely won't right. find anyone criticizing right. the government, because there is a consequence. There's no freedom of speech there. And I think that's a lot of what many Jews, when they look at videos or content or speakers of Palestinians, they tend to assume that everyone has the same opinion and definitely on the ground they don't. I would mm -hmm. say that those that are the most vehemently against Israel and supporting of Hamas is usually the Palestinians in diaspora that are the, the loud activists. But mm -hmm. I think that there is a silent majority amongst the population that uh, aren't supporting of what Hamas is doing at all.